Okay, I'm gonna explain the uh, basics here of degreeing cams. Uh, first things first, go over a couple basics here. Um, items you'll need, dial indicator. Second, something long, if your dial indicator has the ability to uh, go all the way down into your number one cylinder, then by all means get the attachments for it because the way I have it set up here, I have a heel bar. This is, you know, this is crap the way that I have it set up. It's going to be best effort, but uh, essentially this is how you'd want to find top dead center, first of all. And it's very important that you don't put your cams in until you know for certain that top dead center is all the way up to the top. Um, many of you already know that I put my head on after I found top dead center. I made sure that number one piston was all the way to the top. Then I put it on, then I put my cams in and set up to the factory uh, timing. In the, in the occasion here of uh, the Nissan 2.4 liter KA uh, 24 engine, basically what you're looking to do is uh, have your cam lobes off to the side. Here, I'm actually just going to crank her over and put her over to the uh, compression stroke here. Turning the uh, wheel over. I'm actually going to put it close to where I have on TDC here. Um, your intake and exhaust cams, this is how essentially they look. You have, on number one, lobes are out. Um, this is for the KA engine. I imagine other Nissan engines are the same. Um, and when you're doing this, generally your dowel for your number one would be straight up on your exhaust and kind of a 30 degree on your intake. I've already degreed these cams a little bit already. So this uh, this process here, it's uh, gonna be a little bit off. I don't have it on the factory timing like I showed in the other videos. Just basically going over what you need, first of all, in this first step of degreeing cams. So a wrench to turn your engine over by hand. The degree reel, I got at Summit Racing, shows the full 360 degrees. A piece of wire, stiff wire if you can, but not too stiff that you can't move it for showing a mark, an indicator of where you are, what's going on. A dial indicator, and in this case I got lucky, the base actually threaded into the, uh, into the hole there for putting the timing cover on, or the valve cover, I guess. Uh, the uh, I just got lucky with that, so it worked out kind of perfect. Well, not really, because, I mean, the angle that it's on is kind of ridiculous. But uh, it will help for the uh, next portions of showing the uh, valves and how to uh, find, you know, degree your cams accordingly. Make sure you know when your valves are fully up and fully down. But uh, that's essentially what you need. This is uh, starting with... The essentials and like I say if you can find something a way to get this as, as straight as possible I would definitely recommend it but uh, in this case I'm kind of ghetto rigging it here so see where we go from here